Okay, hey guys. So, um, today I'm going to be talking about voltage multipliers. Now here we just have a regular, um, what, what's called like this, right? I think it's called a Viller Cascade or a CW sometimes. Anyway, right here, as you can see on the voltage multiplier, sorry about this extra math, you have your AC source, right? So here I'm just using the wall, 100 in my case, about 20 volts. Right off one of the lines, you just take ground. And you have a capacitor, a diode, capacitor, diode, capacitor, diode, capacitor, diode. That's connected, that's connected, and that's connected. And then right here is where you take your positive. So that's all this is. In my case, it's arranged like this, where you have the AC coming in here. As you can see, this is where I'm taking the ground, this is where I'm taking the positive. One thing to note is that my multimeter, when it's on um, the highest volt range, has about 10 megs of um, impedance. And so, if I was to put that resistor, uh, if I put the multimeter directly on the output, it actually loads the, the um, volt, it, it drops it about uh, 70 or so volts. So what I did is I took a, um, a bunch of 3.3 meg resistors, essentially you can think of all three of these resistors as one 10 meg resistor, and hooked it in series to create a voltage multiplier. So, my multimeter now reads half of the voltage, so whatever's on the multimeter the actual voltage is twice that, okay? And what I'm using here is just one microfarad capacitors, regular old diodes, okay? So these these lines are the AC, this is the ground, this is the positive. So we're going to plug it in. So it's plugged in now, and it's going to the multimeter. 278 volts, that's about And that's it. So, 550 volts, and if you're wondering, you know, it works, very easy to build, as you can see, you know, circle, really, circuit, sorry, really simple. Anyway, if you're wondering the way it works, it's that the AC comes in, right, one of the lines comes in, charges up this capacitor, okay, or say it comes in here, right, this capacitor gets charged, then this one gets charged, and the charge can't go back, because you have this diode here, right, then it goes through through this diode, Right, the charge goes through this diode, charges this one. At the same time, this one's charge goes and charges this one, but the charge can't go back and be drained out because you have the diodes here. Then this charge goes into here and meets up with this charge, and you have, you know, voltage. In this case, this one does about uh, five, five, four, four and a half ish times the uh, voltage. Anyway, um, that's it. As you can see, it's really simple. So if you're going to build one yourself, just be very careful. Mains and 550 volts, obviously, very dangerous. Um, use the appropriate spec caps. Uh, you don't have to have the components don't have to be able to handle the final voltage. They just have to be able to handle the voltage across them. So you know, I would say you know you want like 100, 200 volt components, especially for this final section. I've destroyed this diode on the final section. Anyway, also remember that find out the impedance of your multimeter on the highest volt setting that it's going to be, which it's obviously going to be using, and then just create an, another resistor. That way you've created a voltage divider. You know, one, this is your first half, and the multimeter is your second half, and that's 50% on your multimeter, so whatever's on your multimeter, it's times two. And that's really it. Really simple to build. I mean, here's the circuit, you know, AC, take your ground, there's your positive, there's your capacitors. Obviously, if if you wanted to make get more voltage, you could just t take this and put it here, you know, and just like copy this and paste it here, and you'd have double the voltage. But if you're gonna do that, I recommend you what you do is you instead build this so the diodes face the other way that they're shown, and then put both of them on the AC supply, which makes like um, a positive and a negative, and you get much stabler. Anyway, that's it. You know, not very exciting, but. You know, you have the wall, wall coming in here on these wires, and yeah, that outlet, and then there's your voltage multiplier right there, and then that's the circuit, and that's the multimeter. So I'll just take it in one more time, it's exciting, you know? Alright. Plugged in. And the multimeter's now reading 276 volts, and that's, you know, that's a lot of voltage. Thanks for watching. Bye.